starting out solitary, it's Lippy Witch, and it's been a little while since I've actually recorded a video, but this week we are talking about if we use tarot and oracle cards in our practice and which ones are our favorite. I have a large collection of decks. Um, I do professional readings on Etsy. Uh, you can go to my personal channel to find out more about that. And I also do uh, reviews of each one of my decks on there, which I believe I've caught up. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I'm having a hard time breathing. It's very humid, very hot out, and just, just ridiculous right now. So if I'm breathing really heavy, that's why. Anyways, um, but I would say my decks are my biggest part of my practice. I use cards at times on my altar. I'll use them to get insight into my spirituality and a variety of other things. Um, you can use them for anything, honestly, <laughs> in your spirituality. Um, you can incorporate them into spells, your altars, um, meditation, insight, just a variety of things. Uh, you can even purchase cards singularly on the internet. I'm, I've seen a lot of people do that just because they want an image of the picture, but I would assume you could use that image and maybe even cut it up and put it into a spell bottle, it's just a variety of things you can do. Um, but. I think I will mainly, in this video, just show you my favorites, and so my oracle, and I do both, I do oracle and tarot, I want to get into Lenormand and maybe Cardomancy, which is regular decks of cards, but I'm overwhelmed at the moment anyway, so my favorite deck is the Quan Yin oracle, and this one, I haven't used it in any of my professional readings or reading for, I think I've only used it once, reading outside of myself. Um, I'm very big into Asian stuff. <laughs> I know you can't probably see the whole thing, but this is Kuan Yin over here, um, and uh, my entire room is Asian everything. Um, I've got geisha stuff, and this also kind of reminds me of what geishas look like and some of the imagery. I don't know, I've always been very connected with Asian imagery and Asian stuff. And this deck is so gorgeous. I believe the art is of real people put into positions and their pictures taken and then it's graphically changed on the computer to make it look a little bit more fantastical. I'll show you some of the, the cards, and this is the back, um, they're just, they're just beautiful. Um, I would say these are not cards you want to get if you're just starting out. These are a bit complicated. The messages that they share are not, like, on the card, because a lot of people will skip the books. I tend to not look at books associated with my decks just because I'm an intuitive reader, but these are a little bit harder to read intuitively and the book is absolutely a necessity to know what the cards are about. I don't know, they're just really, really beautiful cards. I hope you're getting the whole image in it. I have a new camera stand that I'm trying out and I like it, but it's, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I have to figure out how far away it needs to be. Um, yeah, it's, I really can't say much about it other than it's just gorgeous. Um, and with my tarot deck, and oftentimes with my tarot, it's one of those things that it changes, like, weekly at times. But I would say my biggest go-to deck is the Book of Shadows, and it's, I think, the, uh, it's the So Below deck. Um, it's, it's a sister deck to the As Above, and some of the, well, here's the backing of it, but I'll show you some of the cards. I would say these are pretty easy to read, and I wouldn't say a beginner would have too much of a hard time, because the imagery is very easy to follow, 
um, and intuitively extremely easy to read. Uh, I use these in past life readings, I use these in general readings, it just, I can use this, this in basically any reading I want. Unlike the Kuan Yin, where I basically can only use them for myself and for maybe one or two other people. Um, but it has not called, been called to be read by other people much. So those are my favorites and if you have any questions about tarot or, ooh, or oracle, they're falling off my table, uh, let me know in the comments below and also I do a series where I'm going through each individual card of a tarot deck and explaining like the traditional meaning and how they can be intuitively read and using three different decks I have and they're over here where you can't see them but um, I'm on the last suit, so if you want to catch up, it's a good time to do that. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later.